Welcome to Keto Weekly Update with your host, Alicia from Keto Update. Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of Keto Weekly Update. We just finished week 10 of my keto weight loss journey, which isn't really weight loss right now, but I stayed the same this week at least, but we're not quite into the swing of summer yet. I know you guys are seeing this the end of May. It is now April 20th, so we're about a month behind still. But if you notice, I'm trying to catch up on the weekly updates because they have to do with what's going on right now. And you guys are giving me all this advice that obviously is way in the past now. So I'm trying to catch it up so that I'm only a couple weeks behind. So I am trying to catch things up. If you're seeing this, obviously you know that I've been putting out two videos a week for a while and like skipping one week and then two weeks and yeah, so you get it. But hopefully, at least now I'll be able to kind of take some advice from you guys, hopefully. That's what I've been working on as of right now. <laughs> but I have stayed the same. I'm still working on some things. I'm a little bit stressed out about. Of course, I mean, I'm raising a baby, so <laughs> everything's a little bit stressful. I'm worrying, wondering about the four-month sleep progression, sleep regression soon. He's turning four months on Monday. Yeah, he's turning four months on Monday. So I've been thinking about, obviously since the beginning pretty much, is that I'm going to be doing baby-led weaning. So at this four month checkup, we'll see what the doctor says if they give us the go ahead to start trying some things. Um, I have like a whole list already of things that I want to try in the first two months, you know, four months and five months until six months where he's more ready to eat other foods. So it's not like a huge list of foods for the first couple months that I have. It's more about just, you know, trying to get him used to using his hands and eating and stuff like that. The food really isn't the big factor in this for the first two months, for sure. Like, it's just more like just playing with food and learning different textures and stuff like that. So, I'm not too worried about that. But, I was thinking about it the other, well, last night while I was trying to sleep, actually, that I don't eat breakfast and my lunch is usually just a snack. And then he's in bed before dinner because Adam has a wake schedule of like 5.30 in the morning. So we put him to sleep at 5.30 and then he wakes up. We wake him up at 9.30 for a bottle and then he goes back to sleep until 5.30. So he doesn't see us eating dinner either because we eat dinner at like 6 o'clock. It was kind of the way our schedule worked, kind of worked it out perfectly to get him down before we eat because before that... We kind of had him going down like a little bit later and it was like we would try to eat dinner and he'd be crying because he was fussy because he wanted to sleep or he was tired or hungry. So we got it like worked out so that he's in bed by the time we have dinner because it makes it easier to make dinner <laughs> and to eat without him crying. So now I'm thinking about him like how am I going to show him one of the biggest parts of baby led weaning is like showing them the motion of, you know, putting things in your mouth, chewing, like doing exaggerated motions so that they know to chew their food and like taking bites, you know, you take exaggerated bites of food. So they kind of mimic you in eating and I'm like, I don't eat in front of him like ever anymore. We did in the beginning, like I was holding him literally, comforting him while I was trying to eat dinner. But that was a while ago, you know, he wasn't picking anything up at that point. So I'm not too worried about it for the first two months because he's obviously just going to be like playing with his food. It's not about eating. But when the six month rolls around, I feel like we're going to have to figure out a different schedule because by six months he should be eating at least one meal a day. So maybe at six months, I will just have lunch be kind of the meal he gets, and that'll be my snack. I don't know. But once he's into doing three meals a day, I know our schedule's going to change so much, but I want him to be able to see us eating. I don't know where we'll be at six months, I guess. So I guess it really doesn't matter too much at this point because things can always change especially with his eating schedule and sleeping schedule. And I mean, what we wanted to do was once they transition into sleeping all night, like 10 hours, we were going to do like, 
you know, six to five or, you know, sometimes they sleep 12 hours, you know, five to five, because he wakes up for work at 5.30 and usually feeds him. And then he stays up for an hour and then usually takes his first nap. Or he goes to grandma's house for being babysat so I can work in the bakery. So, I don't know. Uh, we're going to be changing things around and yeah, I'm kind of stressed about that now too. <laughs> Everything's going to be stressful, I'm sure. So, this weight will come off when it comes off. It is what it is. <laughs> but, other than that, I had no vendor shows. Like I said in last week, I have like three weeks off. So, I've just been working on this friggin' bread that has been eluding me the six times batch. I got a good three times batch in my medium mixer that came out perfect. And then I got a four times batch today that came out perfect. I'm on my third six times batch today. It's cooking right now. I think I finally got it. Like it took out oh, just three today. And I did one on Tuesday and pretty much one every week before that for the last like I don't know it's just I've done so many tests I've probably done over 10 tests and thrown out 60 loaves of bread like it just blows my mind how much money I wasted it like ugh, it's crazy and now I need to buy another 50 pound box of Roseacre Farms uh, egg white powder because I'm already almost through the 10 pounds that I just bought so it's just I'm I'm flying through ingredients and not even making anything right now. It's just like oh, it hurts my brain to think that all this money is being thrown away. But I think I finally got it. The loaves are in the oven right now. But literally the six times batch in this new mixer, the speed two is super slow. So in order for it not to splash on speed three, which is insanely fast, I had to keep it on speed two for ten minutes and then. The second one, the second turn when I have to put it up to three, I was overbeating it by two minutes. It beat in about four and a half minutes to the stiffest peaks I think I could get. And then if you get it just right, not overbeat, not underbeat, and you mix in the heavy cream powder, it doesn't deflate very much. So that's the problem I was having. I was like, did I just whip it too much with the heavy cream powder so it deflated or did I over whip it and it deflated or did I under whip it and deflate it? And it's just like this batter pain in the butt. And I know I've said it every, every weekly update pretty much, but I think I finally got it. So I'm going to be ready soon to do my frequently asked questions on this bread because I got a lot of data to compile and tell you all in one video. <laughs> it's craziness. Uh, I'm going to probably start compiling my questions and answers and stuff like this week and hopefully shoot a video soon and have it up like relatively soon because and I want to shoot a new bread video. One loaf probably still in my bakery because doing it up here I just can't like I can't set everything up. Everything's going to be down in the basement in the either the bakery or in my office which my office is almost done yay so soon i'll be able to do my review videos downstairs and van will have a little play area downstairs where he can come and sit while i'm doing stuff be great because the pack and play doesn't fit in the bakery which was my plan was to have him in the bakery with me on days that he wasn't being watched but he but the pack and play doesn't fit in the bakery so that didn't work and I didn't want it in the hallway because it's cold during winter. And I also don't want the door open to the bakery because I don't want the cats in there. I don't want bugs in there. I don't want anything. I want to keep it closed, shut. Least amount of contaminants possible for a bakery. I mean, every kitchen has it. I mean, you know, every restaurant still has doors open and stuff. But I try to minimize it as much as possible. So soon I'll have Van downstairs in my office with me. It's all nice and insulated. Need to get a refrigerator, and then the door's got to be put on, and some baseboards. Then we got to move everything down there, get everything all set up. <laughs> Only a little bit, you know, but by the time you see this, it should be done and ready to go. I'm hoping by next week, so that'll be four weeks ago for you. <laughs> it's so confusing doing these videos in advance, too, so I'm going to be glad to be kind of just one or two weeks out on recording videos and putting them out because my brain is just fried with trying to think of all that stuff because it's confusing. I know it's confusing for you guys and then I get all these 
comments that I can't really answer or I have to say, oh, well, thanks for the advice, but I'm already over that and this and that. It's a pain. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be on schedule within the next couple of weeks, I think. We'll be like pretty much caught up. And we'll be only one or two weeks behind. I'm going to keep it probably one week behind at least. So that I'm not like stressed to get the video edited and out like, you know, in two days. But yeah. So we'll be all caught up here soon. So I think that's about it for this episode of Keto Weekly Update. Besides, I did my hair finally. Yeah, I told you last week I was going to get it done. Gray and red. I like it. It's very different for me though. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think and what color I should do next because it'll be coming up on that once you see this I'll be ready to change my color again so let me know in the comments below how you're doing on your keto journey also and thank you for subscribing and hitting the thumbs up and as always I'll be back with more keto videos bye guys